So, thanks a lot for the introduction and thanks for the uh, invitation. So, actually, I uh, I changed a little bit the uh, the uh, the program. It will be uh, uh, more like a, a presentation, going to the uh, uh, to the program of the of Biennial, uh, which started like two two weeks ago in Budapest, where we uh, presented. Uh, 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 a project of uh, Société Réaliste. Société Réaliste, we, uh, we founded uh, uh, 11 years ago in, in Paris with uh, Jean-Baptiste Nordic. And uh, it's, now it's, it's, it's a closed project. So we, uh, we decided to, uh, to, to separate uh, uh, our uh, paths. And, um, but we, we, of course, continue to, to uh, to, to show the uh, uh, existing works. So now I, I, I'd like to, uh, to introduce and to talk about the, uh, the, the performance we did uh, uh, two weeks ago on the uh, uh, Liberty Square, so I checked there, here in uh, uh, Budapest. Um, to start with that, I'd like to show you some er er earlier works uh, to, to understand a little bit the, uh, the logic and the algorithm behind the, uh, uh, this, perf uh, this performance, Universal Anthem. Here on the, on, on the screen you see uh, uh, a map of the world, Jung Cam Camouflage map, map, which is a very, very basic, uh, uh, based on the very basic sim uh, principle that we uh, changed all the uh, national flags into uh, military camouflage patterns. So we, uh, we try to uh, follow the exact proportion of colors of each flag. Now uh, you see just some a random uh, sample of the, of the flags, which we uh, recompose to, the, uh, to a political world map. So now, just some zooms into the uh, patterns. So this video on camouflage, of course, we uh, reproduce real, real flags as well. We, uh, we presented it for the first time in, in Paris on uh, June uh, one and a half year, 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 year ago on a, on a bridge over the uh, river. With Société Réalis, we worked a lot on uh, quite simple algorithms. So like, just like the, uh, this camouflage uh, pattern. Here, again, another word concerning the uh, United Nations is the, uh, we, we try to, to find the real color which should be associated to the, uh, to the United Nations. You know, the uh, United Nations uh, flag is a, is a bright blue uh, flag with, their, uh, with, the, with the symbol in the middle. Um, using uh, averaging uh, method, first we, we reduced each uh, uh, national flags to one monochrome color. In, with the digital techniques, every color can be uh, uh, defined by uh, a series of numbers. And these numbers can be, uh, uh, using these uh, numbers, one can calculate uh, the average. So with that, with that method, using the uh, 193 uh, flags, we arrived to this color, which we, uh, 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 which we named UN MOVE DOPE, which is almost the uh, exact, uh, should be the exact name for that color. Another example for this averaging method was an, was an installation we did uh, almost three years ago here in Budapest in the Ludwig uh, uh, Museum for uh, our exhibition project which is called Empire Coma State Coma Building. In one of the main rooms of the uh, of the museum, we uh, painted the walls with a series of monochromes, which came 
from with the same uh, uh, method, calculating method, um, which came from the uh, collection of the uh, uh, National Gallery of Hungary, which is in the, in the, in the Buda Castle. It was a time when the uh, uh, government started to, to talk about the, uh, the, uh, their ideas to uh, create new, uh, a new museum Cartier in Budapest and uh, eventually take over the uh, Buda Castle, of course, to put there the uh, government, government offices and maybe the uh, prime minister offices. So it was the, uh, it was the, uh, uh, a, a, a kind of an um, analyze of, the, of, of that moment, of the, uh, the place of this so-called national uh, collection. Um, we, cho uh, we have chosen really uh, emblematic, iconic paintings from that collection. We put them in alphabetical order, we calculated with the software the uh, average color, and of course, at the very end, just like in the U of top color, we calculated the, uh, the, uh, the overall average. So here you can see uh, some details of the, uh, uh, of the installation. Of course, each uh, uh, for each monochrome we created a label uh, precising the, uh, the author and the title of the work and the date of the creation. So maybe you can see a little bit how it was uh, installed physically. And yeah, there is no other thing. So, and in the middle, uh, on the on the on the column, uh, we we put this uh, uh, average color, which was the uh, Hungarian national painting gray. So, following exactly the same uh, logic of averaging national symbols, we. Uh, decided to, to, uh, to create a software which can be used for music. We found a software engineer and with uh, whom uh, we made a software which, which calculates the average of MIDI files. So the MIDI files are uh, uh, partition scores, uh, some musical made for synthesizers. So the, uh, this software can, can calculate going one to, uh, from the first to the second note the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, average of the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the musical scores. Of course, the, uh, we, wanted to make, we, we wanted to make it for, for national anthems. First of all, we, we collected all the uh, 193 national anthems of the uh, member states of the UN. We separated the uh, um, uh, instrument by instrument, these uh, scores. We put them, these MIDI files, in that software which crashed out a result. So here you can see a little bit the, uh, uh, the method, how it was uh, constructed. And using the, uh, these MIDI files, we could create actual scores. So the, uh, these uh, MIDI softwares can generate easily uh, out of this uh, 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 computation, um, uh, basically a PDF file which can be printed. So this was, uh, you, can, you can see maybe, it's not the, uh, maybe not the best resolution, that the, uh, at the very beginning, as every average, it's a very grey, monotonic uh, musical tone, which at the, at, the, at the end becomes much more chaotic. The first time we showed the, uh, 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 in, a, in a performative uh, way, it was in, in uh, Cluj, in uh, Romania, Sylvania, with the uh, uh, with the uh, transit, where we could uh, work with a 12-member uh, orchestra. Later on, I, I, uh, I'd like to uh, uh, show you the, uh, the video we did uh, uh, with this young orchestra there. 
of course, the, uh, this uh, uh, mathematical result for the uh, averaging of the national anthems um, was unplayable by, by a human being. It was, there were notes every millisecond, so we had to work with a human composer to, uh, to clean it up. And uh, the first time it was Cora Miron, who, 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 uh, who uh, a composer uh, from Cluj, who uh, uh, helped us to make it playable. <coughs> well, just like you, you can see just an example that it's, maybe you can see that you need some space between the notes. We are complete musical analphabets, by the way. And the other uh, occasion was here in Budapest uh, two weeks ago, just next to this horrible monument. Josef May, I think, tomorrow will uh, talk about the, uh, uh, the, uh, the genesis of uh, this monument. Very briefly, uh, this uh, beautiful sculpture was installed a year ago by the government and uh, it's dedicated to the, uh, to the uh, victims of the German occupation. So it's what is written there in capitals, in Hungarian. On the, uh, on, the, um, on the top of the monument you can see an eagle, of course it's the German eagle. And uh, down here you see this angel, Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel. Archangel, excuse me. So, Archangel, uh, Archangel Gabriel holding the, uh, this very, one of the very symbols of the uh, Hungarian crown, which is falling out of his hand. I won't go into the details of the uh, um, uh, of the iconography of, the, of this monument, because I think uh, Josef May will do it much better, will do it much better than me. Anyway, it, uh, so this monument was installed on the Liberty Square, which is a highly symbolic place uh, in the center of the city, just, you know, like 200 meters from the parliament. You've got the former uh, television uh, headquarters building there, the, uh, uh, the National Bank, the American Embassy, there is a, a, a Soviet obelisk commemorating the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the dead soldiers of the, uh, of the Red, uh, Red Army who uh, liberated uh, the best in 1945. Uh, Just next to this uh, uh, Soviet obelisk, the uh, Orban government uh, installed uh, very nice Ronald Reagan sculpture too. So, and by the way, next to this monument, like 50 meters away, there is uh, one of the uh, high, uh, 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 most important spots of uh, uh, irredentist extreme writing uh, people, the, uh, uh, the temple of homecoming, or let's say, Hazatérés Temploha. Uh, where you can you can see the Church of Return. All right, the Church of Return. All right, <laughs> and where you can find uh, on the on the on the staircase uh, on the stairways. So that already, the, uh, as they call it, uh, on on private ground, uh, uh, a, a bust of uh, Miklos Horthy, the uh, ally of Hitler. So next to this. Uh, um, um, uh, monument. There, uh, there was, uh, there's, uh, there are several uh, uh, civil organizations started uh, 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 demonstrations exactly, uh, almost exactly a, a year ago. Who are still there? Who are uh, uh, demonstrating against uh, this uh, uh, not only kitschy but. Uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, this is a monument uh, which denies 
the uh, uh, Hungarian responsibility during the Second World War, especially in the, uh, in the Holocaust. So it's like uh, it's just a, a, a historical lie and the, uh, and the political, of course, and a historical and political lie. And these people are there, which is a very rare uh, uh, situation in Hungary. That for a year they are uh, they are op uh, opposing uh, this whole uh, ideological nightmare. So this, uh, these people invited us to, to present the universal anthem uh, on the square. We could uh, uh, I, uh, so I, I, I could have uh, uh, several discussions with them and. Uh, I'm very uh, thankful for them that the, uh, they had this idea to, uh, to play the Universal Anthem just next to this uh, uh, monument. So it was, uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the, uh, the video was, is not ready yet. I can just show you the, uh, how we uh, 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 installed and designed, let's say, the, uh, uh, this performance. In front of this monument, there is a mountain. Uh, there's a fountain, <laughs> which, uh, uh, with, the, uh, with the participation of the uh, of the uh, of the spectators, we could we could stop their sensors uh, in, the, in the pavement. So we stopped uh, the uh, uh, the uh, this fountain, and uh, <coughs> with the uh, Strasbourg uh, Orchestra. Just impossible to say their name. We, uh, uh, Balázs Horváth, who is a composer and uh, conductor, uh, we rearranged the uh, score uh, to a brass band. So to have a, a more like, a more uh, military sound.
Spida tady to děti. project is closed so I, I I started to work on on, on, on uh, solo projects very, very recently so in the uh, in the frame of the uh, of biennial I uh, um, made a postcard so it, uh, please you can you can get it af uh, uh, afterwards which is uh, about uh, an archipelago just next to the uh, North Pole, uh, Francis Efland. The uh, the Saint Peter Lago was discovered by an Austro-Hungarian expedition during, uh, at the end of the 19th century, and uh, it was a, it was a no, -man no man's land, terra nullius, for decades since in 19. 26, the uh, Soviet Union annexed this territory, and even if it's, if it's uh, almost completely in inhabited uh, today, of course it's a, it's a, tra a strategical uh, territory next to the uh, uh, next to uh, you see Svalbard, almost uh, next to Greenland and Canada. So, I found out actually that the, uh, uh, the, uh, in 2010, they discovered, the, uh, the Russian scientists, they discovered uh, another new island on this territory. And so today, the archipelago is composed by 192 islands, even if it's covered by ice. So, as I mentioned before, the, uh, it's, a, it's a real coincidence that today the uh, uh, United Nations have 193 member states. So with this uh, postcard, which is addressed to uh, uh, Vladimir Putin, I, or who uh, wants to sign this uh, letter, uh, ask uh, the, uh, the president of the Russian Federation to distribute these islands to all the other member states of the UN. And now as I have maybe one minute or something, yeah. Uh, I just want to uh, uh, tell you some some words about this uh, 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 graphic series, which is uh, uh, on the wall on the wall uh, <laughs> uh, behind you. So these are some just some quick images about the uh, uh, new monuments installed uh, in Budapest around the uh, the Parliament building which is already a neo-Baltic monster in the heart of the city. The uh, Fidesz government decided to uh, reinstall the, uh, uh, the, uh, the design of the, uh, of the 30s. So they, put, uh, they started to put back, one by one, the uh, old uh, statues of, of course, uh, not very revolutionary politicians, like nothing but like Andrashi, and uh, you got uh, this uh, as well. They will change as well uh, the, uh, the monument uh, of uh, uh, Koshut, 
So these are press images about the, uh, uh, the works. This is the sun. So this whole new uh, kind of patriotism which uh, led me to work on this uh, uh, very popular and even commercial icon, uh, Schweig, the good soldier Schweig, which was written in 23 by uh, Jaroslav Hasse. Um, you will find a short description about this, uh, 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 about this graphical work uh, in, the, uh, in the brochure. The uh, first uh, illustrations were, were made by a prolific illustrator, Josef Lada, and I uh, used, uh, I, I continued uh, this graphical universe. Schweik was already after the, after the death of uh, Hasek was continued by uh, uh, a colleague of him, uh, Vanek. But the, maybe the, uh, the, more, uh, the most famous uh, sequel of this, of this story is uh, a play by Bertolt Brecht, Schweig in the uh, uh, Second World War. So it was uh, the main inspiration, let's say, for, for this uh, series. And the, uh, the other thing, you will you will see uh, tonight, I guess, the uh, the films, the film of uh, the Jules Magyar, uh, agitators, agitators, agitator, uh, a film made in '69 uh, to commemorate commemorate the uh, uh, 50th anniversary of the uh, uh, 1990s uh, uh, Hungarian uh, Council. Republic or Hungarian Commune, if you like, and oh shit. and uh, I found very interesting the, uh, the parallel between uh, another film which was made just like one and a half years before that. This uh, La Chinoise de Gobert, which you will, if you if you know this film, you will uh, you, you will see the uh, the uh, this kind of uh, parallels. Uh, And for the uh, series, I used uh, a special font, which was uh, dedicated to uh, to Godin, to his work. Yeah, I'm gonna start with this tale from the editors. Thank you.